I'm Michael Baron. I'm a professor of statistics at American University. And the book that I'm holding is the third edition of uh, Probability and Statistics for Computer Scientists. Thanks very much to the publisher, Taylor and Francis. They also wanted me to say a couple of words about myself. Uh, I got my bachelor and master degrees at University of St. Petersburg in Russia and PhD at the University of Maryland, Baltimore County. Uh, I worked at the University of Texas at Dallas and for the last five years I'm at American. I took one year leave of absence and spent it at IBM T.G. Watson Research Center. Um, I'm doing research in sequential analysis, change point problems, Bayesian inference and various applications. Applications including computer science, software engineering and that's the primary audience for this book. Of course, everybody is welcome to use this textbook. Uh, there are several options, several course options. Um, it can be used for a standard probability and statistics course, uh, calculus-based course. Calculus is very important for several chapters of this book. So the standard course will start with uh, probability rules, uh, Bayes theorem, full probability, random variables, uh, discrete and continuous case, and go into sampling distributions, um, statistical inference, uh, parameter estimation, confidence intervals, hypothesis testing, and regression. That's like the standard set of topics covered in uh, introductory statistics courses. Uh, however, this book is specifically designed for computer science related majors. So I added several chapters that are specific for the needs of these uh, students. Uh, you know, computer scientists uh, do deal with data, but probably not as much as management or engineering students. Um, they do a lot of modeling, uh, um, evaluation of computer performance. So there is a separate chapter on Monte Carlo simulations, uh, followed by a chapter on stochastic processes, including Markov processes and Markov chains. And that leads us to Queuing's theory. Um, there is a whole chapter on queuing systems, a discrete case and continuous case. And that was uh, pretty much appreciated by, by uh, instructors who used the previous first and second editions. What makes this third edition different is uh, the R, R software. Uh, first and second editions of this book uh, used MATLAB. Um, first I thought that MATLAB will be the best package, and I still think the best package to be used for classroom demonstrations. The book covers several um, concepts that are not easy for students to uh, understand from the first glance. Uh, stochastic processes, the whole concept of randomness, randomness in time, uh, chains, queuing systems, systems, all that can be modeled and demonstrated to students in class. And that's what I was doing over maybe 15 or 17 times when I taught this course. Um, so instructors can use the codes in the book to do the classroom demonstrations. But then I added computer projects that can be part of the homework or uh, computer projects during the course, uh, separate assignments. Um, and now I'm adding R because I added statistical sections in the book, including advanced sections. Um, several instructors use this book for a two semester course. If you're covering the whole book, this will be quite enough for two semesters. Advanced statistics topics will include non-parametric statistics, Bayesian statistics, bootstrap methods. Uh, they're all in the third edition. So R is perfect for to cover uh, statistical data analysis. Apparently the book is used in about 16 or 18 countries over four continents um, and having a free software like R is very convenient, very handy to be used along with the course. Um, the book is used in uh, places like India, Bangladesh, Pakistan, um, and Faroe Islands, and even University of Eswatini, formerly known as Swaziland. So um, MATLAB may be expensive 
uh, for students in some of these countries, but R is uh, freely available as we know. Um, well, when I was writing this book, I tried to avoid using dry language theorems and facts and examples. I tried uh, to write it in a lively way. Um, I wanted the student to feel as if an instructor is talking to them live. So um, the book has many examples, has 102 pictures and diagrams that help students understand, conceive the material. Um, there are 270 or so exercises in the book, so professors have freedom to assign um, problems of various level and from various topics. Um, the book has interesting facts, paradoxical statements. Of course, you know the Simpsons paradox, but there are several others that you will find in the book. Um, many examples are related to the modern world. The modern topics like uh, cybersecurity, there are special problems that deal with uh, detecting intrusion attempts, unauthorized account users. Um, several other topics in software engineering, telecommunications, signal processing, and other uh, modern uh, examples that students should be interested in. Uh, password protection, uh, you know, when you cover combinatorics, you can calculate easily how many passwords you can create using simple rules, like letters and numbers, or more advanced rules, um, capital letters, etc. And students will immediately see uh, how long it will take uh, software to break one type of passwords versus the other type of passwords. They'll see the advantage of using advanced passwords. The book satisfies so-called ABET requirements. Uh, I think ABET uh, stays for accreditation board in engineering and technology. You know, when I taught this course in my previous institution at the University of Texas, uh, I had to satisfy these requirements, and these are pretty standard accreditation uh, criteria. So this book contains all the topics that will satisfy these requirements. So overall, the book is designed for sophomore to junior to uh, senior level undergraduate course. Uh, it doesn't have any probe or stat prerequisites, but it needs a calculus, calculus prerequisite. And for students who may be rusty in calculus, took it long ago, um, there is a very short summary of uh, calculus topics, linear algebra, um, that are needed for this course. You will find this summary in the appendix. Um, the book can also be used by researchers, by graduate students. I know several universities are using this book for a graduate level course. Um, and uh, by anybody who would like to learn uh, probability and statistics uh, from scratch, um, so welcome to the third edition.